Research Dissemination Challenge is a, an award for community organizations to partner with academia in an innovative way. So we want communities to identify what health and research is important to them, and then we give them grants to be able to carry out these projects over the course of a year. CTSI, this is very important to what's going on in the United States as everybody continues to talk about health care. You and I are helping to put health care in the hands of the people that don't normally have it. And so I say that very sincerely. And this is a group of people in general that if you call, they will call you back, they'll give you resources, they'll tell you who else to call, they'll tell you, no, don't you call them, I'll call them, they'll call you back. We want you to be successful. Please know how important you are to CTSI and to the world of medicine. We decided to create a resource guide that can pretty much um, explain the safety of having a baby outside of hospital settings and also um, detailing how that works. The idea behind uh, the Pittsburgh Park Prescription is to connect um, children in particular to our outdoor spaces um, because they provide, there's a lot of research that shows that um, not only being physically active, but being physically active in the outdoors um, has provides a lot of health benefits. We're a recreation-based community health space. Um, we're geared towards LGBT youth of color between the ages of 13 to 29, which reflects the highest HIV incident rate um, in our region. We are hoping to do two things. We want to do innovative, non-traditional educational events through um, UPC Vogue functions, which they are going to talk about in a minute, as well as have a peer-led YouTube channel where we talk about issues related to HIV prevention and care, but also stigma and PrEP access. What we would want to do and what we're kind of growing more and more passionate about is being able to disseminate information to churches within the faith community about um, trauma and its impact within congregations. You know, we're hoping that we can move churches away from attitudes of judgment to compassion uh, and, and help them to develop best practices uh, in their ministries and <coughs> most importantly create safe places that people can come into where they can begin to heal uh, by building relationships. I'm jazzed at the opportunity to like, you know, actually get the word out and to also uh, do something that envisions how I see research being disseminated, like in something that's not boring, not standard, and it's like just this new and weird, crazy way that only I feel I could bring. It is really unique. You know, it is the first of its kind that we, uh, the University of Pittsburgh through CTSI is able to come out looking for the communities and trying to help the community to disseminate information. You know, it is very, very unique. I've been here for 15 years and I've never come across this kind of info. And you find everyone talking about it. So it is really very effective and people talk about it and people are really benefiting out of it. Mm -hmm.